Dear Dad, Hi, is that the appropriate thing to say after all these years, Miss Hello? Hello? Well, I'm sure you've wondered how my life has been without you in it. Or maybe not. After all, you really didn't care when you were. I can't seem to think that I've missed you a lot. Maybe not your accent, but you're just being there. I know you weren't the best dad in the world. You didn't always come to my school plays or parent-teacher conferences or even home at times. I've been fine. Just finished high school and I got accepted to um, a school down in New York. But I wanted to let you know what you've missed out on. You've missed out on a lot. The day they took you, I cried a lot. They took me to this weird place where I had to wait for mom to come and get me, but they couldn't find her. After a few days, I went with this weird lady, Rose. I lived with her all of high school. She was really nice to me. During 10th grade, I starred in the school's play, Susical. I got the leading role of Jojo. You won't believe who came to see me. Grandma. Grandma and Rose got into a little argument, though. Their voices brought back the thought of you and Mom when she left. You know, I never quite understood your pain. Was it the fact that Mom left us? That you couldn't deal with the pain? Is that why you started to drink? When you drank, I didn't know why you acted like you did. I always thought you never loved me. But... Were you angry at mom that she left me here with you, alone? I asked Rose that one day, and she told me that sometimes you love someone so much that when they break your heart, you don't know anything other than hate or anger. When deep down, you're the one really hurting inside. Many people find me crazy for wanting to still be with you after the things you've done. I don't find it crazy. I mean, what do they want me to do? Just hate you for the rest of my life? I can't hate my father. You taught me that sometimes when things don't go your way, that you just have to move on and live with it. You can't drown in your sorrows and heartache. You taught me the most important thing in life. Forgiveness. I forgive you. I always forgave you, Ellen. I always will. Why? Because you're my father, and no one can hate their father for their whole life. So, instead of hating, I'm forgiving. Always love you, Daddy. Skyler.